Hey everyone and welcome to my channel and to this video today we will be painting another spring painting in this spring series and I will be doing a bird and tree with some leaf silhouette on the sunset. I'm starting with doing a light sketch of a bird just to know where it's going to be placed and if you do like that you can add also a sketch for your branches but I'm not going to do that I'm just going to go with my gut when I start to start to paint them and for the bird I do want to know where it's going to be placed now I'm preparing some colors this is a little bit of blue something like an ultramarine blue and a lighter brown mix just to tone down that blue also picking up this coffee brown and some black from my cozy set a little bit of pink from pastel set so that's a light pink and one little bit more vibrant pink from etcher pretty pink called pretty pink and a little bit of warm yellow again from my cozy set i have prevented the entire paper and now starting with a little bit of the yellow in the central part just around my bird and I do want the colors to be quite saturated because later on when they dry they will be quite light. So I am adding quite amount of the pigment. Maybe it seems too dark at this moment but when it dries it's going to be lighter. Adding a little bit of the pink, mix of my pinks in between those yellows and then the mix of blue and brown in the lower part and also in the upper part. I will go slightly in the central part also with those colors, but just a very, very light coat there. Now I have picked up with a little bit of the smaller brush because I do want to have a little bit less water in my brush and a little bit more of the pigment. I do want this to be quite saturated. I'm picking up some warm yellow and doing clouds in between. And now with a clean towel, picking up the paint around the bird for the sun. I left it to dry completely and as I was saying it dried quite lighter. You can see how light that is right now and with this uh, Lebenson paintbrush I will put the link down in the description box. A lot of you have been asking me about this brush so I will put the link in the description box and there is also a discount if you use my code. My code it is written also in the description. And I'm painting in the branches with a mix of coffee brown and black. And you can see that those branches in some parts a little bit thicker, in some parts a little bit thinner. And the upper branch is going just beneath the legs of my bird. It's going to look like it's sitting on the, it's sitting on a branch, standing on that branch. And as I said, you can place branches wherever you like, adding one little bit thicker ones and one, a little bit thinner ones also. They will be mostly covered with leaves, but also going to be visible. You can paint in the leaves first and then add the branches, but I do find this to be a little bit maybe easier. I'm going to use the same color for the leaves. And you can see I'm just topping with the tip of my brush, nothing special if I'm on bigger leaves I press a little bit harder and if I want quite quite thin leaves I press a lighter to create the smaller leaves especially at the ends of the branches and now again using same colors and splattering onto my branches I do want some random leaves here and there and in different sizes shapes so also I'm just adding a little bit more of the splatters and now same mixture, brown and black, I'm painting in the bird, silhouette of the bird. And using this detail, smaller brush, but if you have a round brush with a pointy tip, you can also use that round brush. Painting in the feet, it's just a silhouette, you don't have to be super precise and detailed with this. And if you want to paint it looking like it's looking at the sunset, just the back of the bird, that's also an option, just the way you like it. A little bit more of the splatters. And with that, I'll be finishing off this video. This is a quite simple one, don't you think? And 
well it's gonna be done very very fast i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please hit the like button share it and comment if you haven't still please do subscribe to my channel that would be awesome and well i guess there is a playlist of those spring paintings in the description so if you want to check out other paintings you can definitely do that and also all the tutorials on my channel there are over i don't know 300 tutorials there so for the beginners and in intermediate painters so i'm definitely sure you're gonna find something for yourself again thank you so much for watching and i hope i'll see you next time bye